Hey, what's up guys? It's Hunter with Rippin' Discs, and today I'm going through my bag to show you what I'm planning on throwing for this season. So just jumping right into it, I am putting with the alpacas. I do like these, they do glide good for me, and using the spin putt with them is working out really well. And then moving up in throwing putters, my Drew Gibson Ruin is my overstable putter. I love this thing. And the Berg, this is the disc that doesn't go anywhere, which a lot of the times we need just as a cool stop shot kind of thing. Then my straight flyer is just a D-blend cohort. This thing will turn up and flip a little for me, but then just hold nice and straight. And then the last is the Justice. It is my overstable go-to. Uh, I really forehand this a lot, it handles a lot of torque, so it's a really good approach disc for me as well. Then let's jump into my mid-ranges. My straight to turn understable one is a KC Pro Rock. Uh, it is beat up quite a bit, so it does have a nice ride to it. And then my straight flyer that whatever angle I put it on, it just holds, is my iBlend Chariot from Infinite. My overstable is the Raw. I just started throwing this but already I really do like it so I'm going to be bagging that for all this year. And now jumping into my fairway slot. My flippy and ride to the right is the Centurion by Infinite. This one is very reliably understable. Then I've got my star sidewinder. This is more of a straight flyer on my backhands for me but I will do a turn up uh, or hyzer flip with my forehand for it. So I do enjoy this disc a lot and throw it a lot. And then getting a little bit straighter with stability is my Eric Oakley Exodus. This flips up for me and rides really straight but still has a good enough finish for me. So it is a kind of a utility disc for me to get some big S turns with. And then my favorite disc that I have is my Big Germ Thunderbird. Uh, this is just a very straight flyer that has a consistent little hyzer at the end. Not a dump, just I've beaten this up for about two years and it's really coming into its own on just being a straight flyer with a good little finish. And then we go into my stability range, which is three different blends of scepters. Uh, my eye blend flies a little straighter, doesn't dive as hard. The swirly S blend is right in the middle. And then I've got my metal flake yeah <laughs> i lost it and then i've got my metal flake scepter which is super overstable for me very flat top so i can throw a forehand like this and it will come back i really enjoy this disc as a fun utility around and the last we're getting to my driver slot so for my super understable just roller disc is my eye blend Faro that is a little lightweight and really flat so this doesn't come out of the bag too often, but when it does, it's always more of a fun, creative shot. So I really enjoy that. And then my go-to bomber is the Star Shrike. Um, I've been throwing Shrikes for about a year and a half, and I'm the most comfortable throwing these out of basically any other disc that I have. Um, and every Shrike that I get, it flies about the same. If not, I can beat it up to what I like really quick. And then moving up in stability a little is a lightweight uh, metal flake Faro. Jeez. Moving up in <laughs> moving up in stability, I've got my metal flake Faro. Uh, this one's a little lightweight, so it does have a lot of turn to it still. Uh, so it does kind of go in unison with my Shrike, but I feel a little more reliably stable for me. Next, I've got my other Metal Flake Faro, which is a very straight flyer for me. It doesn't like to turn and it doesn't like to fade. So I can really just pow full power on this thing on any line that I want and it just takes it for a ride. Moving into my stable slot, I've got a iBlend Emperor that was custom done by my buddy Keith down in St. George. Uh, I really like this one. It's a good flyer for me, just holds a hyzer the whole way. And then I've got the regular eye blend from Kona Panis Emperor. Uh, this is the one that I throw if I don't want to lose this one in water. So it's a good, it's about the exact same flights.
someone trying to interrupt the video. And then I've got my Garrett Gerthy Emperor, which is a super domey one that just glides forever for me. I can use this. Okay. What? The... <laughs> And then I have my Garrett Gerthy Emperor, which is a very domey run that glides forever. I like this for a big backhand or my forehand. Throwing it on a big flex shot is a lot of fun and it just keeps flying. It just glides forever. And then my last driver is my utility driver, which is my Calvin Heimberg Destroyer. This is so overstable that it rarely comes out of the bag, but I do enjoy throwing it when I need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And with that, those are all the discs that I'm throwing. And lastly, we got to give a big shout out to our bag sponsor. We are on Team Upper Park. This is the Rebel. I have loved this bag. I've only played a few rounds with it so far, but its capacity is awesome. The side pockets are massive. It looks good feels good on my back it's actually the way the weight shifts to the bottom i really like that but it is set up awesome use code ripping 10 when you go to upper park to buy one of these you get 10 percent off and it does help us out so be sure to go do that support them they are an awesome company we're really excited to be working with them and be sure to go to infinitediscs.com to get all the discs that you need they are great up there we really enjoy working with them as well Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. We will be making a lot of videos this year, so be sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna wrap it up with the horn honking. See you guys in the next one. Go get them birds. <laughs>